Newcomers to iRacing are quick to learn that advancement is the name of the game, but when you get there, it gives you the right to call yourself one of the best in the world. What you're about to see are the top 38 drivers that have followed that very path. They've taken their lumps along the way. They've proven that they are the elite, and they can call themselves one of just a handful of iRacing drivers with the talent to compete for the right to call themselves the best sim racer in the world. As they come to the green flag here, let's see how things work out early on. It's a lot of tight racing here, 800 foot straightaways, really tight turns at the end. Davies, it's a good jump on the outside going into turn number one. The power on the inside will hold him off coming down, coming down the back straightaway going into corner number three. Yes, they do, and it looks like they're just going to kind of be careful of each other. They know what sort of mess last week became, and it was yellow flags all the time. That really took us two and a half hours to do a race that should have only been about an hour. So we should keep one eye on him, actually, <laughs> as we go through this. And it looks like everybody takes the green flag again. As a Pontiac oh, Celsius pace car dives in. Uh, Wood in the second place as Brad Davies and Dale Earnhardt Jr. pointed out down the back straightaway to Derek. Davies gets the advantage going into corner number three, and Davies will take that third spot from Junior. Oh, and it looks like the number seven car got into the number 29 car. That's the number seven car of Ray Alla and the number 29 car of Derek Cash get, a, get into each other in turn four, and that brings out the yellow once again. Richard Towler goes in and comes out. Before that last caution, Towler was out in the lead, but Brad Davies was chasing him down. At one point, uh, Davies was... 2.1 seconds behind Taller as he took over the second position from Derek Wood and he got it down to about 1.7 seconds in just a couple of laps so Brad Davies the man to watch right now well Davies was turning 20.3 laps earlier Let's see Richard Taller was doing 19.8 so that's a half second difference just before they went to the green flag down to the inside, like Davies challenging Tyler on the outside. Junior right down the inside, battling Davies coming off the corner number two. It looks like Junior wants second place, but it's actually going to settle for third. But the number seven car, Ray Alfala, really wants to make Junior uh, <laughs> make that third place get, and he gets third place. Junior, Junior makes contact with Davies going down to the corner number three. Junior backed out of it, so Davies could uh, gather it back up. A great save by Davies as he still holds on to the second place as Olsen slides in the third now. And look at what it's done. It's given Richard Tower a ton of space. And then Davies goes wide and Alfala slips under for second place. So now it's Richard Tower That's and right. Ray Alfala, Alfala first and second. second. Place around Davies, Jr. in fourth. Get the green flag. Apologize for not noticing that. Those guys went double file. Richard Tower pulls away in the number four car. Brad Davies takes that second spot away from Ray Alfala. Earnhardt Jr. now looking under underneath of Alfala as they go down the back straightaway. Alfala, or Jr. has position on Alfala and will take that position in the corner number three. Ray Alfala gets the Goodies Headache Powder Award for the first three races. Pit Road Penalty in Daytona, a crash in Vegas, a crash in Bristol. There's trouble coming off of corner number three. Thomas Hazard gets a little sideways. He gets a little bump from Derek Wood as they go through three and four. And Hazard uh, it was able to gather it back up, but then Wood made contact with Josh Parker and sent Josh Parker spinning down the front straightaway. Brad Davies doesn't get caught for speeding on pit lane. Because yeah, no 35 mile an hour around this pit road seems like you're crawling and you'll never yeah, get to your pit so stop. Davies slow. pitted in the second pit stall on pit road. Takes him forever to get there. He's got uh, four tires and fuel right Yellow's now. Yellow's out. As the caution's on the track. Yellow's out. So that is going to play into the hands of Richard Towler, who is actually in the lead right now and has not pitted. Richard Towler is going to be able to pit under yellow flag conditions and keep the lead. And we are checking to see if Davies, Ray, if uh, Ray Davies, isn't he a member of the Kings? If Brad Davies was uh, able to stay on the lead lap after his pit. I believe we have a green flag now. Richard Towler. Richard Towler is going to get chased down by Dale Earnhardt Jr. That's not an envious position to be in, but I believe if anybody can handle that sort of pressure, I believe it's Richard Towler. Uh, believe me, Richard Towler right now is loving this. He's uh, out in front. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is right behind him. And, uh, and we got trouble coming off corner number two, right in front of the leaders. So we're going to... 
put up and shut up as we watch these guys take the green flag here is lap number 201 of the nascar.com iRacing nascar.com iRacing.com world championship series and robert hall as the green flag comes out tyler gets a good job junior will start right down right down behind him but theo olsen will make a ch i'm sorry that's not theo olsen that's a ray alfalo on the outside of hall going down the back straightaway uh alfalo moving to third now i hope these guys can really sort of make it work this time make everything stick because i want to see some racing here i'm tired of yellow flags richard tyler is actually now a half second in one lap out in front of dale earnhardt jr they have actually turned in a little bit onto Brian Fogel. Patrick Fogel, sorry. I'm not sure that everybody is as fond of pink as, uh, <laughs> as Connor McKenzie is. This is really testing their patience. I think they're all sort of begging to get the Phoenix and Talladega the next month. Yeah, it looks like uh, Josh Berry in this one coming off corner number four. Didn't realize there was a lap car on his uh, left side. Went up and made contact with him. Uh, John Gorlinski gets involved along with Matt Sintel. And so as we go back to green here, some big developments here. Richard Tyler disappearing off into the distance yet again. But Dale Earnhardt Jr. has really had a hard time as he came back to the green flag. He got Ray Alfala got underneath him. Thomas Hazard got underneath him. And then he gets stuck on the outside and actually touched the wall as he exited turn number four to go across the start finish line and is now back all the way in sixth position. So his chance at uh, a number one finish, a, a top podium finish here might be done as he really gets loose. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. taking up the sixth place behind all these guys and it looks like Ray Alfala really gets underneath Richard Tyler and tries to turn him around. That was a really ugly situation or could have turned ugly there in turn four. Yeah, Tyler holds on though and uh, Alfala did back off and let Tyler gather it back up. But now Olsen trying to take advantage of the situation. Race them on the outside. Tyler has the preferred line. Alfala doesn't want to give it up because Hazard's going to be right there and looking to take that spot also. But right now, Tyler has the preferred line going down to the corner number three. <laughs> and there's no love, love loss between these two guys. These guys both want the victory. Rich, uh, Richard Tyler needs to maintain his lead. And actually, I believe Ray uh, Fowler was scored in first place that last time by. But Richard Tyler is fighting hard for it. Thomas Hazard is trying to push Richard Tyler from the back. Yeah, there is contact. Now there's contact between Hazard and Tyler. As Hazard gets in the back of Tyler, sends him up the track, and there's three wide coming out of the corner number four, and they're, they're able to make it through. But uh, Alfala and uh, Alfala made some side-to-side -side contact with Tyler, and then uh, Tyler had to get out of it and gather it back up and had to block maybe a little bit on Hazard. Hazard was able to get, in the, get the bumper on him a little bit and move him up out of the way. And if we can go back and take a look at the number six, Dale Earnhardt, number one car, Theo Olsen, Dale Earnhardt, Brian Blackford, and Robert Hall. There was some ugly racing going on into turn one and two, the last lap. Those guys were bumping and banging all around, trying to get around each other. Those guys seem to have sort of lined up again. But what's happened now is Ray Alfala and Thomas Hazard, last week's second place runner in Bristol, are running our way with it and putting some distance on Richard Tyler, third place. Coming down the back straightaway, Hazard about a car length, but still a car length and a half off of Alfala. Alfala slips up in corner number three there, Alfa, or Hazard underneath. Uh, Hazard looks like the caution's out. We may finish this lap under under yellow, finish this race under yellow. Yeah, Theo Olsen, a very good job up there in the fourth spot. Ray Alfala. Alfala. Robert Hall finishing fifth. So and Richard Tower again doing a great makes job his displeasure there. known. Look at that. Richard Tower is going to try and spin out our winner, Ray Alfala. And Ray Alfala is going to have none of it.